Hi guys, just thought I'd bring you a quick video to summarise this uh, little article that's just been posted on the RuneScape homepage and it's entitled Squeal of Fortune Feedback Response and it's written by Mark uh, Gerard himself. So I'm going to try and quickly summarise this because I don't want it to drag on but basically they realised that a lot of people sort of um, were a bit touchy about this subject when they first introduced microtransactions for the Squeal of Fortune but well I'll just sort of quote this for a second first of all I want to say thank you to everyone who has sent us feedback we designed the Squeal of Fortune from the outset to be a fun and light-hearted feature to RuneScape so it's, it seems like their intention is not just for money grabbing but you know they're always going to sort of uh, make a very sort of PR response uh, and try and downplay it as much as possible but anyway let's continue so uh, that's not very important we recognize that some in the community have mixed feelings about the squeal of fortune and while we spend a great deal of di uh, time sorry and effort creating game experiences that resonate with the majority of our players the reality is due to the epic size of our community it simply isn't possible to please all of our players all the time despite desperately trying to uh, I'm not sure if that's the right use of two but whatever therefore our philosophy has always been to do what is right for the long-term health of the game a fact many of the long-standing players will know I've consistently done over the years irrespective of the initial pain with the most with the not so distant bot nuke a great example so confirmation there that the bot, uh, second bot nuke will be very soon I can confidently say that we have always been rewarded for doing the right thing in the long run and the reality today is that the game is not only consistently improving but our community steadily grows year on year so basically they can't please everyone and there's always going to be people that are pissed off and overreact at things I am guilty of overreacting to this update myself but uh, yeah people are always going to sort of cause a fuss about any update really like the room span but anyway that said all the feedback uh, all the feedback we receive for our updates and how the community engage with it is still extremely important to us. We've been reading your posts on the forum and listen to your concerns. As a result, uh, sorry, I can't read today. As a result of your feedback, we implemented some changes to the way Squeal of Fortune works, such as adding new ways to receive extra spins as in-game rewards, and also introducing additional payment protection for all in-game purchases as soon as players notified us it was a concern. So, if you don't remember this, uh, the well, you might have seen it in game already, but uh, when you carry out certain activities, like just generally killing monsters or skilling, you'll receive free uh, spin tickets. And you might have already got some of them. But this payment protection thing, if some of you don't know, uh, when the microtransactions first came out, uh, there was a bit of a problem with payment issues. Uh, concerning uh, details already being inputted into the fields so that when you're sort of uh, going through the checkout you didn't have to actually enter any details so like kids using their parents credit cards could just spend as much money as they want without any sort of uh, prior uh, parents knowledge so there was a bit of an issue with that but I'm going to assume they fixed that now because that was a pretty big deal. Uh, let's read on. Naturally, the team and I, this is Mark Gerard writing this, if you don't remember. Naturally, the team and I are saddened that some players are upset about free spins and some also don't like the ability to also purchase additional spins. However, the reality is 90% of our members are enjoying the Squeal of Fortune on a daily basis and over 70% of our free players utilize the Squeal of Fortune daily too, making it some of the most widely appreciated content released to date. The majority of our players also continue to take advantage of many free ways 
to earn extra spins, so it's certainly here to stay. I'm not sure I actually agree with these uh, statistics. Just because people are using it doesn't necessarily mean they appreciate it. It's like if you throw bacon in front of, if you wave it around in front of the face and you just offer it to them saying, ooh look you can have bacon, it'll make you fat but you can, you can have it because it's tasty, you know, you're not going to turn it down because it's there. You, Ugh, I don't know, bad analogy, but just because it's there and people are using it doesn't mean it's necessarily a good thing. So I don't think this makes a very valid argument, but whatever. The stated concerns from players excuse me, regarding real world, tr real world trading, gambling, or using the Squeal of Fortune to buy the way to success is simply not true and not possible given the design of the system. While we have seen most players take advantage of the new rewards and many choosing to purchase extra spins, we have not witnessed any abuse of the system despite monitoring it cl extremely closely. Looking forward, RuneScape continues to grow more than ever, both in terms of innovat innovative, compelling content as well as the size of the community. With the launch of the RuneSpan last Monday, a major graphical performance update yesterday, it should be evident that we are gearing up for our most exciting and biggest content year ever, including the complete upgrade to the combat system later this summer. So, combat, well, combat system later this summer, we know it's definitely going to be within a few months, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. You'll naturally all hear a lot more about this in the very near future, so watch this space. And on that note, I will keep a close eye on this as well and keep you guys updated as well in case you don't want to sort of read all this and you'd rather have me read it to you and sort of summarise some of the points made. But yeah, I just thought I'd just tell you guys about this because it's a, it was a bit of a touchy subject and I uh, sort of apologise to Jagex for overreacting even though it didn't affect them whatsoever because my opinion is meaningless. But yeah... Uh, that's just something to consider. Jagex aren't. Well, it seems like they aren't trying to be all money grabbing. They actually do care about the game, so don't worry about the game becoming Squealscape, is what the main message is here. So, anyway, this has probably gone on a bit too long. And DC Universe Online. Goodbye. <laughs>